Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Greg Tech Horizons Season 2. All right, we are back, and I am just going to test this, the fluid buffer things. I've crafted up another one, and I did a little testing, and even though it said uh, zero out of, like, the full amount, it actually did have the things in, but you do need to pump it out. So I am pretty sure that these are going to be faster. Uh, I just kind of wanted to test it out, though. And we're going to do... We'll do that. Oops. Yeah, the one kind of issue is I can't access these these pumps but uh it might I don't know if it's like it might be a bit slower but I'm like is it going to be more accurate so I thought maybe that would be better unfortunately I can't see I don't think there's any way I can see those hatches with these blocks because these hatches can't go on the outside but you can see it is filling up yeah they are the first one's going to be off but i think that to be honest i think that's actually i think that's pretty much the same it looks like Yeah, it's it's the size of the hatch, basically, that it's going up. So that tells me it's pulling out exactly the same as it's the other one, uh, which was limited by the thing. All right, so that that's exactly the same. This part, until I get the hatches upgraded, pretty sure that is that didn't actually make that any faster. Um, I prefer the other way, I think. It just lets me, I can access these hatches. I don't like having them. I don't like having them like kind of hidden and I can't access. So I think we'll do this. Actually we'll do, oh, it doesn't matter that first one. I'm just thinking I want to get them even but that what that first one might not work correctly yeah since like since the penalty for going over the amount is so huge I don't know we'll see uh, it uses up all of it I'm not overly yeah so you can see it's putting like 32,000 whatever in at the same time so yeah that's exactly the same as that but uh, these these just can't get as fast as those export buses with four acceleration cards in all right and then I wasn't using those those things I'm just gonna dump If I can get it there. Oh, I had it. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> that would have been easier. There it goes. All right. And then as soon as this does the 5 billion and runs, it will. They'll leave it out. But that is definitely slow. So today we're going to have to get the bigger hatches, I think. There it goes. Um. Uh, I don't know what the percent chance is. Might be higher, might be lower. But hopefully. Yeah, we are getting black dwarf matter. It is pretty dang slow, though. So, 
All right, well, I'll just let that run. And we have plenty of hydrogen and helium. You can see right there. So the space elevator, it's not keeping up with it, but it is relatively close. And we have such a backlog now that uh, I'm not worried. I can let that run for a long time. Okay, so if I want to get the bigger hatches, We're going to need to get this input hatch. We're going to need to get this input machine. And to get that, we're going to need this machine casing. And to get this, we need these. To get this, I need that and that. <laughs> you can see this is... That is a little bit faster. I do all my plates in the bending machine though. I have thought about switching over the well, crafting with a lot more fluids, but then you would have to extract a lot of the things. So I'm like, eh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so I need molten eternity and to get molten eternity, we need liquid primordia matter, chronic singularities. Yeah, this is uh this is a thing. All right, that recipe in general is not horrible. I think we did, didn't we? Make a recipe for that liquid pri liquid primordial matter. All right, so we do have a recipe for that. Yeah, so that should work okay. Um, question is, do we want to, because we can actually switch, now that we have the Stellar, could actually switch this, this recipe. This gets you metal dust, turns cosmic neutronium blocks into blocks of transcendent metal. So you don't need to smelt it. And I think that actually is possibly something to do. I'm not going to do... Dust. What am I going to do with the extra dust? Because if I make two recipes, I guess I could. Turn these into. I guess we could turn these like just spam these into. I wouldn't want to do dust. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Stargate. We're getting there. We're actually getting some of the items for the Stargate. Oh, hello. Those are annoying. Um. Oh, is there no... Oh, okay. So, there is no... I thought there would be a block to ingots, but there is no block to ingots for that. All right, so this is going to be a little bit more complicated than I thought. All right, did we get... We got liquid primordial matter. Um, we need chronic singularities. Now, we need these timepieces. And these timepieces we get from... That is an extra... Thing, but we can also get these in the DTP. Ah, this is that is a lot of that is a lot of stellar catalyst. 
All right, let me uh, figure out how I want to go about doing this. I'm hoping that I can just get away with a few of these at first until I get this up. Okay, having gone through all the recipes, we've run into a little bit of an issue with this. Um, and that is the Universium Nanites. Um, which needs Universium. And I don't think you can get Universium until Tier 7. Uh, so I don't actually think we can do this yet. I think... I didn't know we were going to have to upgrade our our thing so much, unfortunately. Uh, but we can. We are getting Stellar Catalyst out of it and the White Dwarf. Uh, the White Dwarf Matter or whatever. We are getting that out of it, which that is good. And now Black Dwarf. So I think upgrading to Tier 4 is the correct thing to do. But I think if we want to actually upgrade these hatches and get to the next tier we are going to have to upgrade to tier seven now i just kind of randomly was going through and i don't know which tier seven is best there's pluto there's what one two three four yeah there's four different ones we could do each of them give different things i mean if we did pluto we could get an aquadria and stuff like that um so basically what that tells me is we're going to be living with the tier four for a little while. So I think we probably should figure out the, the storage because this is kind of insane. Uh, I think we'll do tier four. Uh, I haven't even really looked at these either. I don't know if there's like a better one. Uh, there is really like so few of these items that we actually need. Uh, I'm not, I'm not overly concerned with it. I figured tier four gave us the most plasmas. So that is why I choose IO or IO, not tier four. IO gives the most. Um, so I'm thinking for running that. We should sort this out. Now, I have gone ahead and crafted up a void cell because I didn't actually realize what was happening. Is uh, Yeah, this isn't outputting fast enough into the matter condenser. I think you can only do one at a time, which is causing it issues. Um, so, yeah, we can see it's 70, 74 stacks. Is that what it's saying? Uh, kind of crazy in that output bus. So I think we need to actually deal with this all. Um, and I'm going to void it with this void storage cell. And I have to list everything. Otherwise, it'll void random stuff. We don't want to do that. So basically what I have listed on there. But I think maybe I'll just go off here. I'm assuming this is the entire drop. Uh, like, it doesn't go to the end, so I'm assuming there's no more. Whereas, I believe, like, the, the overworld one, it said, like, there's more. Uh, so, basically, we're just going to go along. And I should maybe maybe pick out the ones I actually want to save. Because I have also... Crafted up a whole bunch of digital singularities. So we're going to set all these and get those filling up. To be honest, I may just sort everything and then like just destroy those. I, I don't know how much I really need to. There's some things like glowstone, which would be, but like there's a billion something redstone in there. I'm like, do I need to worry about getting that out? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so there is multiple things I need to do here. So maybe I will get going. And I'm going to just go through absolutely everything we're going to want. All right. So like pitch blend is not something we want. Lapis we do. Silver. 
Best night, no. Tung state, no. Tungsten, yes. And then I will make distrives for all of those. Is that what I want to do first, or should I do the void first? I don't know. Maybe I should turn that off while I'm doing this. <laughs> so it's not continuing to run and fill up this chest with even more stuff and that output hatch. Yeah, I kind of want to get these first. And then... Where are we going to put these drives? And could do... Like, do I want them in the main network? Or, yeah, they will... Uh, where are they going to go? I don't know. I got to figure this out. Because they're on a subnet with this right now. This has kind of turned into my little bit of a storage area, and I didn't really want that. Because I thought I was going to place more of these. I can still place more, but... Um, I guess we don't need to... I could always just do a wireless connector. It doesn't have to... I don't have to put disk drives over here. We could put them underneath. Eh. Let me figure out where I want to do these. I kind of wanted to have them in the main... I don't know. I kind of like having them over here. With all my other disk drives. Although we could... I don't know. Yeah, let me think about this. We'll be back. All right. I decided to just throw this stuff all over here. And I did some rearranging of buses underneath here. So I may have screwed something up. Uh, but I think I got it all sorted. And I ended up doing more than I realized I was going to do. You can see 47. Oh, for, yeah, partition 47 different things. And these are the ones that I am voiding. There is probably something we're going to need later. But for now, I'll just turn that off. We get it so fast that I'm not overly concerned about it. Um, yeah, so I partitioned all those. And you can see it is going ahead and filling this up. But it's basically all just kind of like single element stuff. There are a couple here and there. Calcite, it's just easier to store it in a digital singularity. Uh, phosphate and stuff like that. Um, but for the most of it, it is things like thorium and iron and all that. So I think that is working. Now it can't output into the main network. Uh, so if there is something stuck, it'll show up here. Same with the fluids. So... Uh, that is good, I think. And then I'll just let that run. And there's, I don't think there is really, I guess we don't need this anymore. We don't really need this anymore either. That was the old recipes, but you know what? I think I'll just... Do that. We could probably do. I don't need separate. I don't know why I did them separately like that. We could probably just do one if I want to do it that way again for some reason. Uh, we could just put both hydrogen and helium on the, the thing at the same time. So basically, that's outputting helium and hydrogen. That is outputting the things at a whatever ratio. I don't think I'm going to upgrade these at the moment. Would it be worth it? I don't actually know. Um, Space-time compression field generator. Uh, time dilation decreases the time required for a recipe. Time dilation decreases the probability. Stabilization increases. But decreases the yield. So they do have, it seems like there is positives and negatives to each thing. But I guess the stabilization one 
would be the time dilation wouldn't make any sense because it decreases the probability of the recipe and speeds it up. Well, it's already like one tick the recipe, so I don't think that's worth it. But maybe stabilization, but are those the yeah, stabilization ones are the most expensive block? You do only need 48 of them, though. Yeah, maybe I will. Maybe we will upgrade that one. I don't know. I'm just let it run and see how it works. Now I do have all this stuff in this infinity chest. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Like, I have no idea what the fastest way to get that. We're talking like billions of items. I have no idea what. The fastest way would be to get that out. I'm going to bring the cell bench over here because I just was thinking maybe I will throw. Stone dust on one of them. We do use some stone dust, but not in like the billions, but the digital singularities you can. Um, they're basically like infinite. That's redstone, like a billion redstone in there, <laughs> and that's eighty-one million out of that number. Yeah, like to get from a, I don't, it's like conveyor, but like these only go so fast, so. Even with, like, that, it would take forever. Just off the top of my head, I can't think of, like, a fast way to do that. Um. What happens... If I do... I hook... No, I don't, like, the interface only has nine slots. That's, like, the slow part of it. Um, all right, I had a, I have no idea. I'm not overly worried about it. I may just, like, get rid of this. The only thing I'd be sorry to see would be, like, glowstone. So maybe I will, maybe I'll pull some of this stuff out. Um... Yeah, maybe I'll I'll save a few of the things, but I'm not overly worried about it. There, I just I can't think of like something on AE that would let me pull it like faster than an, insert it faster than like an interface. I don't. I just don't think that is a. Possibility. I could be wrong, though. What happens if I did... like a storage bus... on a... No, because then I would still need to... I don't know. Let me think about this. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't even know if it's worth messing around with this, or should I just delete this and we'll craft up more? Alright, as I was messing around with things, I noticed we have packets of Mercium Plasma in my A system. I have no idea how they got there, but I'm like... Are these the amounts that were, like, screwed up in AE? When I was, like, for some reason the recipe wasn't finishing? Is that somehow that got turned into items instead of, like, a fluid? I have no idea. That was weird. Is there other? No, I'm not seeing any other ones. Um... 
But what I was thinking is possibly doing a dummy item. So I'm actually going to create a dummy item. I'll just say it dummy. And then I will do this. Throw redstone there. Now this is connected with the an a a um a storage bus. I'm gonna set it to that's a hundred million. That's a billion. Oh shoot. There. I don't necessarily want to put it in here. Um, let's do somewhere where like it really can't go. Uh, how about like an input bus, just a small one? I'm just going to put it down here because I don't actually. I don't remember how many uh, item or how many channels I have up there. Uh, but I am going to get that cleaned up if this works. So basically interface, put a, a billion redstone in there, and then I'll cancel it. So it'll pull the stuff out, and then maybe when I tell it to cancel, it'll put it back in the A system, and that will end up in the disk drives, I'm hoping. So, we got that. So, 1.9. I do dummy nine times. That was a bit surprising because we have 9.9 .9 there. Now it's, now the recipe's not popping up. What? <laughs> Am I like breaking my, we have plenty of channels over there. There it is. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, interesting. Let's change it then. I mean, I don't feel like... I mean, maybe I'll make more. Uh, let's change it to... Like 250 million. I can just keep canceling it if that. All right. So, redstone or no, dummy. We'll start. It can't put it in there, or it thinks it can't, although it is green, <laughs> and I cancel it. Let's do it a couple times and see. All right, so that one isn't, oh, that, the other, I don't know, why was the other one? Why was the other one green? Usually it goes green when it's trying to craft it, but. Uh, two more times, because that's a billion. Can I do? Yeah, that each one is a byte.
I feel like we're missing redstone now. <laughs> uh, how did that go down? Anyway, did it go in here? All right, it did go in there, which is exactly what. That. Let's do. I do insert that should just show. Yeah, all right. So it is putting the stuff in uh, faster than the other way. But I'm almost thinking, I'm like, is this worth it? <laughs> I don't know if this is actually worth it. Also, I'm just thinking, is that... I need this here? This is the subnet. I don't even know if we actually need this, now that I'm thinking about it. This is all connected to the main network. I was thinking I needed the sub bus to connect to the main network on the sub network. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I don't even think we need that, do we? Alright. And then let me just double check that the main networker is actually seen it. If I do that. Okay, it is actually seen that. I wasn't entirely sure. All right. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to worry about how much <laughs> this stuff in this uh, thing. Uh, I might pull the... It is pulling out, but I mean, there's so much of it. That's why I'm like... Uh, I might pull the, the glowstone out, but everything else, we'll just get more. I can't really see anything in here that we really need to keep. And the other thing is... Oh, it pulled all the redstone out of... No, it did it. I don't know. No, it didn't. Yeah, the other option is just setting up a out like a conveyor into an interface and just letting it run forever and ever. I don't know. Uh if you can think of any other faster way to empty that out, that would be awesome though. All right. So like I said, we'll just let this EOH run and build up some more resources. At least we got not EOH. At least we got our black dwarf matter running but i do think we are going to need to continue working on upgrading it i was really hoping that would let us get the hatches but i think it is locked behind universium uh, but maybe i'm just reading nei wrong because sometimes there is multiple recipes and i'm just not seeing it if there was one somewhere Like, I was like, oh, okay. The chronic singularities, you have to do that. Then I'm like, oh, look, there's another. But that requires molten eternity, so. I, yeah, I don't know. All right, anyway, that's going to be for today. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.